Hi Aries, this is your twin flame reading, there we go, <laughs> twin flame reading with me for September 2020, I hope you're doing well. I just went a little bit blank, I was like, this is your, well, it's your reading, fire fire, uh, double fire with the twin flame as well, and of course that Aries energy, uh, we're going to see what's coming through, so I've just got the lover's oracle here as well as the tarot cards. Do you want to mention as well, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading with me, do check out the description box below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention, intention bracelets are on my Etsy store. So they're handmade, they're meditated with, they're staged, and they're there to remove obstacles and challenges, again, from different areas of your life. So I'm actually wearing an evil eye one, twin flame, soulmate, and also a love bracelet as well. They're super special and they are indeed um, handmade. So it's rather exciting um, to have that vibe and that uh, energy coming through. And also um, the link to my Etsy store is, is down below, but also the review section is on there and international shipping on everything. All right, so, um, yeah, there's loads of other items on there. Do check that out. Uh, let's start with the Lovers Oracle cards. Okay, so we've actually got one that's just flipped over here. Okay. So we've got the three messages and the first one here is reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. All right, so that's your first message. I have to say it's a really beautiful message in all honesty because sometimes reflection is necessary, sometimes space is necessary. When you think about twin flames as well, oftentimes there's a runner and a chaser and the more you're just going after them, the more you're messaging them, the more you're trying and trying and trying and trying, the more they don't have that ability to sort of sit there and reflect upon everything or take initiative to make moves because perhaps you're making the moves. Um, so giving space and time is really important and it also allows them to have that space to digest a lot of information as well um, especially in instances where they they just you know you're always there or things like that they don't then have the space to be able to do so so they just don't have to ever think that they're losing you so give some space you know give some time to one another this allows you know them to also know that they're missing out on something right because you're if you're always there you're always available then they don't have a reason to miss out on you. You know what I mean? So give some space, give some time. I think that's really important. We've got here embrace. All right, so embrace says through each other you find the missing pieces, but how are they going to find those missing pieces if you know there's always that availability? So pull back a little bit, give yourself some space and time because some of you are definitely overthinking this connection a lot, which is okay, you know, it's okay to overthink, but you might be overthinking to the point where it's hurting you um, or you're just really afraid of space and time and distance because you think they're going to run away but I will say nothing that's ever meant for you will ever pass you by you know it's, it's never just gonna go um, or it's never just going to disappear fully you know trust that it will come back around and then the final message here says imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities um, for your life so don't well, what I feel is, especially in September here, is because you've got Virgo season and Libra season, and they're two seasons that actually work very well hand in hand together, um, it's a time really where it's about putting yourself first and not always putting maximum intention or effort into your twin. This is about taking care of yourself first and looking after yourself first, because that's the most important thing. If you're always putting someone else above you, you will always come last. And that's the thing is that you don't deserve to um, come last, you know, that's the thing. So I do feel here that Aries, so there's a energy here of detaching that's really necessary, right? Detaching is giving space. Detaching is also having less expectations. Detaching is also very important so that you can feel wholesome within yourself as well and perhaps not as, um, as much struggling. So I think that's very, very crucial and very vital um, with the energies. So yeah, the Four of Cups here is detachment, you know, emotionally detaching from the situation, doing things for yourself, taking a little break away from this connection can really help you, taking time to think, taking time to think how you're treated uh, as well. 
I know you really like this person, but sometimes you got to also think about yourself. you got to like yourself too, you know. Um, not saying that you don't like yourself, but it's really important to, to know your value in a connection as well. You know, if someone else is not chasing and running after you, then you've got to take action towards yourself. And oftentimes when you detach and you take action towards yourself, they sort of come after you. You know what I mean? It's interesting, that vibe. Okay. Empress. Empress, Chariot, and the Sun. You've got quite a lot of like yellowy energies. It's fun, it's positive, it's bright. Um, the Empress here is about self-love, it's about putting yourself first, it's about looking after yourself, um, sitting on the throne, you know, feeling confident, embracing the feminine energy. Even if you're a masculine or you're a male energy or you identify more with that energy, um, remember everyone has different levels of feminine and masculine you know, try and boost up that sort of feminine energy by looking after yourself, taking care of yourself as well. Um, and the chariot here is also a strong energy of emotionally connecting with yourself, but also trying to detach more from the sort of twin flame vibe and attaching more to yourself. I think that's really important. So detach, um, try and detach, but attach to yourself. You know what I mean? Because attachment creates expectations. Have high expectations of yourself and lesser expectations of them. It will make you feel a lot better. It's, I'm not trying to say that, oh, you should never have, you know, high expectations for others, but sometimes expectations are what make people feel stuck in a connection. It's what makes them feel they can't do any better. It's what makes them feel like, nope, I've got to stay here because this is the best I can do. So the sun and the moon here is about seeing the pros and the cons, all right? You have to see the pros and the cons of this particular connection. And you might be making a list, all right, of the pros and cons because Virgo season, you won't be surprised, okay? Uh, and Libra season, you know, it's balance, it's looking at things from both sides. When I think of Libra, I also think of lawyers, you know, they, they got that sort of um, energy of looking at both sides um, and fighting their cases. So the sun here is about the pros and the cons. Make sure you're not just looking at all the positives and ignoring all of the other aspects. Make sure you're looking at the whole situation as a whole. Every connection has positives and negatives, um, and oftentimes we just think of the positives, but we have to think of it as a whole. Okay, so we've got here the Ace of Cups and quite a few other cards as well. Okay, so Ace of Cups here is about that sort of emotional connection, right? I think it's important here to let your twin also fill up their own cup and to make sure that unless they're really putting you first and prioritizing you, you must... Uh, you must detach here. Uh, you've got Judgment with the Death card, all right? So these cards go hand in hand. It's a card that just fell on the floor. Hold on, let me just grab it. I've got a lot going on here. Um, so um, it's interesting because Death is Scorpio, Judgment is Pluto, the home sign of Pluto is Scorpio. This is about transformation. You know, this is about taking matters into your own hands and putting yourself first for once. I think that's really important here in September. So, you know, take it slow. You know, put yourself first. Give some space. Give some time. Reflect. Uh, detach. You know, you've got a lot of this energy here. Oftentimes with spiritual connections, especially twin flame connections, the more you detach, the more they come towards you. The more you detach, the more they are aware of their own energy and how they're treating you, the more they have the ability to come towards you. The more they think about you, the more they care about you, the more they <laughs> do for you. It's really bizarre, I know, but that's how it works a lot of the times. Eight of Wands, okay, and the High Priestess. So the High Priestess here is really about taking into consideration your own energy. Um, only very recently, September 1st and 2nd, was there a full moon in the sign of Pisces, all right? So that was very, very recent, and I do feel, um, especially because it was the start of September, that particular full moon here is about, you know, looking after yourself, your emotions, putting yourself first. This is also about, you know, new paths and challenges and, you know, putting yourself first. So this is what allows your twin to come to you, is putting yourself first and detaching is what allows them to energetically feel that, oh, oh wow, you know, they're, I don't feel their energy as much. I need to... I need to do a lot more, I need to give a lot more, I need to be much more present. So that's the Knight of Swords also coming through. See, they, they want to then talk to you and communicate with you um, and they feel scared that you're going to go. But look after yourself emotionally, okay, because I do feel here, even though you're in Aries, okay, and they often say like, oh, Aries, you know, detached, detached, they are very detached. 
I would say that, you know, we have a lot of other signs in our birth chart and our emotions can be very much so varying. I mean, my moon is in Aries, okay, and I'm a very emotional person, okay, so it just gives you an idea. And there are some people that have Aries in their Venus, you know, and they might be like a Pisces or they might be a Cancer Sun. And having, you know, Aries in their Venus can make them very detached in terms of love. And it's, it's crazy, right? So it's just one of those things to be aware of is that people have so many different signs in their birth chart that it really, you know, affects everything. For example, you know, I'm a Aries moon, but my Venus is in Scorpio. Scorpio, one of the most intense signs uh, when it comes to love and emotion. So you can just imagine that, you know, it's not always a uh, surface level. We have to dig very, very deep sometimes. And um, yeah, even though you're in Aries, you see a lot of emotion here. Okay, there we go. Got the emperor. Okay, be you. Be you. You don't have to put a lid completely on your emotions, but it is about detaching and looking after yourself, right? It's about feeling your feelings, but then looking after yourself and saying to yourself, like, you know, I, I need to look after me. I need to put myself first. Otherwise, what's going to happen here is, you know, feeling even more upset, feeling frustrated, feeling challenged in this connection, feeling under the weather, heartbroken. You must look after yourself. It's so, so important here. Um, and you've got the Ace of Swords, which is about clarity, right? So emotionally detaching brings the fruits. It really does. Um, and that is your reading. And that's what actually brings your twin to you, believe it or not. That's how twin flame unions and reunions tend to happen is when one person is, you know, chasing, they stop chasing, they become a little bit more detached, they do their own thing. And then twin feels all that energy and goes, oh my God, I need a piece of you. <laughs> That's how it happens, really. So take some time to reflect and attach and put more energy into you and you may see some good results here with communication and interactions, especially these two aces at the top um, in this connection. So this is your reading. Take care, stay safe. Um, don't forget to check out the description box below for more information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, intention bracelets, and of course don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and uh, yes, leave a comment down below if it resonates.